హాయ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు క్రిస్టమ్ హిస్టరీ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఆఫ్ మైన్ అండ్ మై ఫ్రెండ్ జాగృతి ఐ గివెన్ మై ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఇన్ ఐఐటి గౌతి షీ గివెన్ హెర్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఇన్ ఢిల్లీ యూనివర్సిటీ యాక్చువల్లీ ఐ ఆల్సో అప్లైడ్ ఇన్ ఢిల్లీ యూనివర్సిటీ బట్ అన్ఫార్చునేట్లీ డ్యూ టు సమ్ రీజన్స్ ఐ వెసెంట్ ఏబుల్ టు అటెండ్ ది ఇంటర్వ్యూ షీ హ్యాస్ షేర్డ్ హెర్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ విత్ మీ అలాంగ్ విత్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ అన్ఫార్చునేట్లీ uh we both given our interviews in organic chemistry only so that i'm going to uh share her questions and my questions also combinedly in this interview okay so first of all in every interview right so the first question is common introduction i have already discussed about this introduction in my previous videos you can uh watch them now uh when you come to the questions the first question uh first four to five questions are mine and remaining questions uh are of herself okay now uh the first question interviewer asked me was what is stereochemistry why we need to study stereochemistry you know stereochemistry uh is the branch of chemistry involving the study of uh what is that what we can say three dimensional spatial arrangement of atoms in a molecule right generally if you take one molecule you will study about the spatial arrangement of different spatial arrangement of atoms in a particular molecule so that's why uh, that is the stereochemistry what is stereochemistry means and why we need to study stereochemistry by knowing the uh, three dimensional atoms three dimensional arrangement of atoms in a particular molecule actually this three dimensional arrangement of atoms in a particular molecule can affect chemical and physical properties of that particular molecule for suppose if you take drug the shape of a drug will explain the interaction of that particular drug with biological systems like enzyme receptors etc in our body okay the time when we take the drug it will explain about that so the shape of that particular drug will explain the interactions so that we need to study the stereochemistry so this is um, answer of the first question second question <laughs> what is the point group of any chiral molecule for suppose chiral molecule for example you take carbon and this carbon attached to uh, four different groups uh, let's say fluorine iodine hydrogen and deuterium right so when we uh, take that chiral molecule any chiral molecule okay no plane of symmetry is there in that molecule no center of symmetry any other element of symmetry is not there only we have identity element e. so when we have only identity element in a particular molecule the point group is c1 okay so the point group of any chiral molecule is c1 this is uh next question third question was what is resonance uh resonance means it is the way to describe the bonding in a certain molecule where we cannot explain the bonding of a molecule by considering a simple lewis structure you cannot explain by considering only one lewis structure if you take one particular molecule you cannot explain the bonding in that particular molecule by considering only one lewis structure of that molecule right you have to consider all the structures of that particular molecule for suppose you take benzene right if you take benzene in benzene we have three pi bonds six pi electrons they are delocalizing right so gen- generally to the naked eye double bonds and single bonds both are there in that molecule but because of delocalization because of different structures okay so we have partial double bond character okay not single bond not double bond it is partial double bond okay so that is resonance uh next one what is two structures given one is ortho methyl benzoic acid second para methyl benzoic acid which is strong acid okay interviewer asked this 
which is which is stronger acid can you explain generally if you consider inductive effect we generally say paramethyl benzoic acid is the more strong because of plus a effect but here if you see ortho methyl benzoic acid at the ortho position there is a methyl group so this is called ortho effect or we can say steric effect so because of steric interactions steric repulsions between methyl group and that acidic group electron density will not be localized more on the carbon which is attached to the coh right so that's the reason why because of ortho effect or we can say steric effect ortho methyl benzoic acid is more acidic than para methyl benzoic acid okay uh, next question they have given uh, three structures and asked to predict which elimination is there in which structure total three eliminations given in the first structure even elimination is there um, in the second structure e2 elimination was there in third even cb elimination was there these actually these elimination reactions are very very important you have to uh, know you have to study uh, those elimination reactions okay next question uh, uh, what is organic chemistry okay this question is jagrat this question what is organic chemistry organic chemistry is the branch of chemistry to uh, study about the properties composition reactions about the compounds contain carbon generally um, actually we study the compounds which contain other elements also but 90% of the in 90% of the cases in organic chemistry we generally study about the uh, uh, carbon containing compounds right so those reactions uh, composition properties and etc okay so this is organic chemistry next question uh, the given one structure and ask to predict structure elucidation of nmr literally i took 3 to 4 minutes time for this uh, they given the data of 13 cnmr 1 hnmr okay mass percentage and everything so i took a lot of time uh, actually you don't have to take that much time in 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 any interviews okay practice more and more questions uh, this structural elucidation and mr is very very uh, important okay mm, next question again they given one uh, structure and ask to uh, predict the stereochemistry of diels alder reaction okay that is that was one question next one mm yeah uh, uh, instantly they asked that why kinetic product in diels alder reaction is more stable than thermodynamic product uh, give reasons and write transition state so the reason is due to secondary orbital interactions okay due to secondary orbital interactions kinetic product is more stable okay mm last question uh what is tamida tamida means uh, actually uh, tetramethyl ethylene diamine what is the role of tetramethyl ethylene diamine tetramethyl ethylene diamine is a bidentate ligand okay it will form stable complexes with the metal halides like uh, zinc chloride copper iodide etc which are soluble in organic solvents okay so these are the questions and remaining interview experience remaining uh, questions like normal formal questions and everything is same i have already explained those all formalities in my previous videos you can watch all my uh, phd interview experience videos okay so so these are the questions okay you don't need to worry about anything actually in phd interviews just prepare your area of interest well then you can uh, give your uh, interview at your best okay i'm sure for okay so thank you so much for watching okay all the best okay uh, try your level best for everything i think uh, gate examination is also there 
so prepare well okay if you have any questions if you have any issues in your preparation phase please uh, ask me in the comment section or you can mail me too okay my mail id is krishkamistry123 at the rate of gmail.com mm, you can mail me okay thank you so much bye bye